Several decades ago, food themes started showing up in the graphics and names of guitar pedals. On today's episode, we're gonna dive into this, what it means, where it can take us as a civilization. Is this episode a good idea? I don't know, probably not, but you're here, I'm here, and we're gonna roll the intro thing and act like it is. There are lots of guitar pedals with food themes, icons, names, and I think I know when this started. I'm not really sure. I mean, I've done a few of these, Steak and Eggs, Robert Keeley, Muffaletta, there's other stuff. So to get to the bottom of this, I have Nick here. He's very valuable when it comes to food. And I have my good friend, possibly my only friend in the entire world, Ben Wood, who is the executive chef here at City Barrel in the Crossroads of Kansas City. It's a kitchen brewery, it's amazing. It's a great spot if you're in town. We're going to talk about this. You ready? Yeah. You ready to go. answer pointless questions? Okay. Absolutely. Now, what was the first food pedal ever made? This is what's haunting me. Mm. Does it haunt you guys? I mean, probably not as much. Not so much. No. Okay. So, <laughs> it's haunting me. Let's move on with it. 1967, we see Honey, the crying baby fuzz. Now, was Honey referring to sweet honey on a food or like honey? Like, hey, honey. I don't know. This is a possibility. Could have been 67. But the point is, is it's honey. It's honey. Food okay. related. Food I related. I think it's either food, food related adjacent. or completely not food okay. related. What do you think? No? Uh, food it related. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay. Then we have the orange squeezer. I think this is the first most, pr you could prove this. You know, it's, if it's a court case, I think orange squeezer from like 75 might be the first. So Dan Armstrong might have started this. Yeah. I mean, an orange is, a food. It's definitely, you it's definitely a food. Into orange juice. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Then we have uh, 76, the Crowther hot cake. I don't know what else this could be other than a hot cake. I'm from the South. We call them pancakes. There's the still in a mm -hmm. hot cake. Man. What do you call it? I've always called them pancakes. Yeah. What is a hot cake? I think it's the same thing as, as a, a pancake. pancake. <laughs> yeah. So, yes, moving on from that, we have this is a stretch. I'm going to throw it out there. The Big Muff pie. 1977, we see the pie symbol. I know it's math related, but could pie be pie? I mean, it could. Well, pie is always pie, unless it's pie. Yeah. There's some philosophy stuff that I don't know that we're prepared to dive into with yeah. this one. Then I think if we're in the 70s, which I think we might all agree here, maybe you agree, maybe that's where this started, 1970s. It's a crazy decade. There's uh -huh. disco, beginnings of metal, food's more of a thing, apparently, so people put it on pedals. 78, we have the rat. Why is this in here? Because that's... I travel sometimes, and I was in a country, and they had cooked rat on a stick, like a kebab. So people eat okay. that. We might be stretching <laughs> the definition of food pedal. Does city... <laughs> We do not sell rat. No. Could you make a rat dish? <laughs> no. I will never make a rat dish. Okay. That's nasty. Okay, now that we've covered some history or whatever, Let's jump into the scientific experiment. Mm -hmm. Very scientific. I've chosen a pedal, and we're basically going to jam on said pedal, and then you're going to create the dish of the said pedal, and we're going to talk about the food, the flavor, the sound, the pedal, the emotion of what in the world's going on with this episode. Can we do that? Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, first up is the way huge fat sandwich. George Tripps built some of these in 98, but I don't think it actually released as a product around 2008. Uh, it's a distortion, kind of fuzzy distortion thing. I actually don't know what the circuit's based on, which is fascinating. Hmm. That haunts me. It's fine. Uh, and uh, we're just going to jam on it and see what happens. But um, what if we had some french fries? French fries. Okay. What you good? got there? This is the Dan Electro french fries. French fries. made in 1999. Released yeah. at Winter Nam. 1999. So Ben, what exactly would you put together if you were going to make a so-called fat sandwich? Sure, so if I'm gonna make a fat sandwich, I'm gonna make it as large as humanly possible. So, to start out, I'm going to prepare a smoked chicken sandwich. It's something that we have on the menu here. It's delicious, it's amazing. Oh look, I have that same sandwich you were just talking about That's right so here. That's so amazing. This is crazy. Okay, so this yeah. sandwich, we have arugula, 
we've got fresh tomatoes, salt, we've got smoked chicken, we've got speck, which is a uh, smoked prosciutto, as well as pimento cheese. And then of course, follow it up with some french fries because french fries are where it's at. So now let's eat the fat sandwich and then see what it might inspire musically. That is a huge sandwich. It is a big sandwich. It's fat. Let's taste. Okay, here we go. Eating on camera. Nick's favorite. Pimento cheese. That's good. Well done. It is. It's not well done. It's perfectly cooked. Oh. Food joke. <laughs> Bacon? Yep. Well, it's a smoked prosciutto. Yeah, it's Same. a smoked prosciutto. Same thing. Yeah. It's don't, not. Don't act crazy. It's a smoked <clears throat> prosciutto. So, I feel inspired to create music now that we've eaten the sandwich. I think we should do a jam with the fat sandwich and the french fry pedal. Yeah. I think we should call it Make It Thick. Make It Thick. Make It Thick. On these jams today, I'm going to use the cub because I need some delay and a Benson reverb head. And um, I know Cub is like Panther's edible. Did you cook anything with Panther I, meat? No, I've never cooked Panther. Why not? Um, I don't think it's good. Have you had it? No. How do you know? I think people have had it and said it's not good. I guess we're not cooking any Panther today, but I'll cook up some sweet riffs with this one. Super thick jam. I'm really proud of that. Good job. Um, next up is from the food series, 99. It's called the Grilled Cheese Distortion. Uh, still has the original sticker that mm. says Guitar Player Editor's Pick Award. It, I just want to point out it has the OG sticker mm. on the pedal. Not a lot of that. Yeah, not a lot of that. You, isn't that cool? You have the sticker. I have the sticker. This is a puzzle. Like, why is it called grilled cheese? What does a grilled cheese sound like? This is a real issue. Um, because it's kind of like a distortion with a resonance knob, which to me feels like there's a wah circuit in it, maybe. Hmm. I don't know. It's not a greatly useful pedal. Can I ask a question really quick? Yeah. Um, did you think that we were going to put marshmallows with the grilled cheese? Because you did bring yeah. this marshmallow pedal with you. Yeah, that's totally normal. Is that something you've done before? Yeah, growing up, you take a grilled cheese, you put a marshmallow in it. Is this something you're comfortable with? No. Can okay. you not put a marshmallow? No, I'm not gonna put marshmallows on a grilled cheese. Why? It doesn't go on a grilled cheese. But if you want it, you can want anything. Well, maybe we should eat this grilled cheese that Ben made for inspiration for our next jam. It's amazing how that appeared out of nowhere. I know, and guess what? Doesn't have marshmallows on yeah. it, garbage person. What? <laughs> Whatever, bro. Here's the deal. I'm going to use it in the song, so I'm going to put marshmallows with grilled cheese. All right. Let's taste this to get inspo. This grilled cheese has bacon, has a sweet corn succotash, it has fresh tomatoes, and it has a garlic aioli, roasted garlic aioli. Mm. With along with jack cheese, making it. What's on the bread? Oh. It's delicious. That's a trade secret. This is like a killer BLT. Without the L. True. So it's grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> so I love grilled cheese. I grew up on them, so I'm feeling really nostalgic. Let's do something a little cheesy. Throw back to the 90s. Early 2000s, actually. I think it's 2001 to be technical. <laughs>
Next up is the Electra Harmonics Soul Food. This came out around 2014, I believe. We have done a modification to this for some time. We don't do it anymore, but it was called the Meat and Three because I'm from the South and there would always be these Meat and Three spots. You go in, you know, pick out your meat and three sides. So yeah, Soul Food. I'm very familiar with this, the way I grew up, the way my family ate. So how do you like to prepare your soul food dishes? Well, I think uh, for us, we take chicken thighs, we marinate them in buttermilk, we batter them, we fry them, we make our greens, we braise them for a long time in tomatoes and bacon, and then great, make some really great hearty mashed potatoes and then smother it with white pepper gravy. Yeah, Isn't excited. the soul food based off of the Klon Centaur? It is, it's a Klon Centaur clone. Bear with me, if you yeah. ate a centaur, would that be considered cannibalism? It's half cannibalism. I guess it would depend on which part. Just, just don't cook the human part. You can't just cook half an animal. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have to wonder what centaur would taste like because we do have this amazing soul food dish that you made. Thank God. Look at that. Just that looks delicious. Is that white meat? No, it's thigh, so it's all dark meat. I'm a, I'm a fan of white meat usually. I'm gonna give this a shot. Really? Yeah. Uh, but I know, I know it's delicious. Yeah, chefs only cook. I mean, me. I prefer dark meat because it's so okay. much more flavorful. More flavor. Hmm. You like greens? Now I do. What's the spice on the greens? Hot sauce. We should call this jam with a side of funk. I like it. Oh wait, before we move on though. Why is this wine pizza petal here? It's soul food. Is it though? For, for certain people. Ben, have you made a Hawaiian pizza for us? Mm, no. Can oh. you can you make one? No. I love it. I didn't I didn't make you one, but I got you one. Oh cool. Hey, you have the box. I've got the box. He has the box. What's up the box? Can I have a slice? Uh sure. Little aggressive, Ben. Little bit aggressive. That's fine. Small Fry by Barber, came out around 96. Killer designer. It's like a distortion overdrive thing, really great. So I think we do this. Do you do anything with fries? Yeah, so we have uh, what's known as our fancy AF fries. So it's French fries with a cheese sauce and a uh, brown gravy, as well as fresh onions, tomatoes, chives, a hot mustard sauce, and some pickles. It'll blow your mind. So it's like fry nachos. It's like fry nachos, Yeah, but better. I'm going to play this old DoD Milkbox FX84 Jason Lamb series. It's pretty killer. Because I love me a cold glass of milk with my fries. No, 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 no. stop, stop, no. stop. Why not? Because that's disgusting. I have a better idea. Okay. Instead of whatever, instead of the milk box, which is a perfectly fine pedal, by the way, we're gonna do the Ranger FX Mini Bar, which basically yeah. that's lets you put liquids in here as a re resistance. Yeah, it changes he's, the resistance. He's a wild man. It came out at Nam. Yeah. What are you putting in there? I think we should put the 
um, rad AF IPA okay. in it. We'll do that. Instead. Can I still maybe have some milk later? No. no. First, let's eat these fries. Yeah. Because okay. we, we need to. You never had milk? No, mi fries. milk does not go with fries. Whatever. Mmm. Man, tell me about the pickles. Those are my house made pickles. We make everything uh, from scratch, and uh, it's my recipe that I've developed for uh, a really great, sweet, but spicy pickle. This is a Rad AF, so it's a New England style hazy IPA. It's delicious and delightful. Find it in Kansas City. I don't like IPA ever, and I really like this. Why is that? Because it's fruit forward and citrus forward and not pine and bitter forward. Yeah, it's very fruit forward, obviously. Fruit Can't, forward. Where'd the milk go? Can you, I have a little swig of milk? You gotta, you gotta let that go, man. No. Oh, um, we need to put some beer in this. Do you happen to have like a small, tiny squeeze bottle yeah. with beer? I carry one around. It's oh. the Rad AF. They have like a travel size yeah, uh, okay. sprayer thing. I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. Go. All right. So basically, there's two contact points mm -hmm. and different liquids make the overdrive sound different. Yeah. I think it's in the tone control. Oh, and you mentioned there's cheese sauce on it, right? Yeah. I think that inspires me to use the big cheese on the bass. 1995. Yeah. You know who used this, right? On a bass track, and you're playing bass today. Radiohead. Radiohead. They used it. Yeah. I think we should call this track, My Head is Fried. Yeah. I like it. French fries. Head. Radio head. I see what you did there. Yeah. All right. What do you think about uh, Radiohead today? It's pretty much genius. It's genius. It was the first Radiohead album I liked. Kid A was your first Radiohead album. Yeah, I had heard Creep. Everyone's heard that. Right. Pablo Honey. But I never really paid them any attention, which in hindsight is shocking because I listened to Travis, Oasis, Blur, lots of Brit rock, but I never, I missed the bins. Like, it's crazy to even think back on that. Yeah. Heard this, I it was a hard listen, like a lot of records I love, probably first four or five times, but I remember getting the CD and just like being blown away. Yeah, it's such a good record. I remember hearing this, I think I was like the first year I worked with you and I was like, yeah, I like In Rainbows. And you're like, well, you should listen to this because this is freaking nuts. If you thought In, Ra in Rainbows is crazy. So one of the things that was great, there's an interview, Tom York, I don't remember who else in the band, it's like MTV. And basically he says, everyone's been copying us, good luck. Yeah. It was kind of one of those statements. I mean, How did you first hear it? Uh, a buddy of mine first showed me Kid A and uh, said, check out Radiohead. And I would listen to it for the first time and I was like, no. <laughs> no, I'm okay. I'm into some other stuff. And then I gave it, a, gave it a little bit of time and he's like, listen through it, listen through it. And so I finally did, I gave it a shot and I was like, okay, this is mind blowing. This is so far different from everything that I just grew up 
listening to yeah. from... Like the Spice Girls and stuff. No. Okay, sorry. My subconscious is constantly trying to degrade you. I'm sorry for that. We'll you're, work, we'll work it later. you're the one who likes milk with fries, so... It's delicious. Okay, we're wrapping this episode. What in the world have we proved? What have we learned? Nothing. Nothing. I don't... Nothing. No. Your food's delicious. Yeah. You're very talented. Thank you. His pedals are fun. I'm super tired. We've jammed a ton and eaten a ton, but I'm full of hope. Same. I feel like we've ventured down a new road of guitar pedal exploration. Yes. Somewhere that no one's ever gone before. Or wanted to go. And we can always sit here today and say we did it. And you can say you did this with us. You can be proud of that or not. It's up to you and I really don't care. But in the comments below, let us know your favorite food theme pedal. Let us know what you think about these pedals and the jams and how they correspond to the food that Ben cooked while he jammed. If you liked this episode, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell icon to get notified for every future episode. Yeah, if you're in Kansas City, come to City Barrel. Ben might be here, you can probably harass him through the kitchen window. Yeah, or if you're Josh, just anywhere, because he will find you and he'll just harass you. We're done. I think I'm we're done. so done. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Yeah. It's your restaurant. Oh, so thanks for you guys coming. Yeah. It's I'm good. just thankful. I'm so full of thanks. It's almost like Thanksgiving.